Today, I wanna to talk about the different ways to reduce aerosols in the dental office. With the advent of coronavirus, it's now more important than ever to consider ways to reduce aerosols in the dental office to protect our team, to protect ourselves, and to protect our patients. Now, dentists are in a high-risk category because we generate aerosols through ultrasonic scalers, rotary hand pieces, and other devices. Now, most dentists are doing a great job wearing personal protective equipment, like wearing a mask, wearing a shield, putting on your gown on. However, there are some studies that have proven that contain contaminants from aerosol can stay in the air for up to 30 minutes after a dental procedure. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about four different products to minimize the spread of the virus in your office. And I wanna give a big thank you to Henry Shine for sponsoring this video and providing some of the products that I'm gonna be talking about today. They are an amazing equipment distribution company that provides a lot of the supplies for our office. And I definitely encourage you guys to check out their website and consider ordering some of your equipment from them. So the first product that reduces contaminants in your office is going to be an air purifier. When you're picking an air purifier for your office, you need to consider three main categories air filtration, airflow capacity, and sound. Some systems use HEPA air filtration technology, while other systems use UV light to aid in the filtration of air in your dental office. So the coronavirus varies in size from about 0.06 microns to 0.14 microns. So when you're purchasing an air filtration device, you need to make sure that it can filter as small as a particle as the coronavirus. Now, airflow capacity represents the amount of air that moves through a system. Some systems will turn over the indoor air every hour, while other systems will turn over the air every 10 minutes. As you can imagine, it's really important to turn over the air at a quicker rate, especially in a dental operatory where we are producing aerosols all the time. So one of the purification systems that I really like is the Jade Air Purifier from Surgically Clean Air. The Jade Air Purifier is unique in that it has a couple of different stages that work to purify the air. Now there are a couple specific things that I really like about the Jade Air Purifier. First, it's relatively quiet. I work in a very small office. So sound pollution is something that bothers me. So when I'm looking for an air purification system, I don't want it to be too loud. Next, it has a hand wave sensor. So in order to turn on the air purification unit, you wave your hand across the sensor and it turns it on. If you want it to be more powerful, you wave your hand again and you can wave your hand again and you can make it more and more powerful. Now I like this because when I'm using my air purification unit, sometimes if I wanna talk about treatment with my patients or if I wanna stop during the procedure and mention something to my patients, I don't want it to be too loud. So I like how there's sensors there that give you the ability to turn the unit off or to um, alter the levels without having to touch it. And finally, I really like the aesthetics of the air purification unit. It means something to me and I think there is a premium that comes with buying something that looks nice. Okay, so what about intraoral evacuation systems? So these products can dramatically reduce airborne contamination by evacuating aerosols in the mouth. It's also really helpful for hygienists that don't really have an assistant using the high evacuation technology to reduce the aerosols when they're cleaning teeth. Three products that I use are the Isolite, Ivory Relief, and PureVac. Now the Isolite is a really incredible product because it illuminates the mouth, it can be used as a bite block, and it attaches to the high vac evacuation system so it keeps the mouth really dry. I think the Isolite is best used when doing crown preparations or when you don't really have the ability to use a rubber dam in the mouth. Of course, the rubber dam is gonna be the best for reducing aerosols, but if you don't have that capacity or if your patients can't tolerate the rubber dam, then the Isolite is something that is really powerful and really helpful. They have different attachments depending on the size of the mouth. So you can add a small attachment if you need it or a medium attachment or a large attachment, which will retract the tongue keep the area dry and give you bright light to allow you to work more efficiently. It's actually really powerful technology and it's really useful for those patients that have very strong tongues or very active salivary glands. As you know, sometimes our assistants are doing everything they can to retract the tongue, but when you have that bite block and you have the ability to retract the tongue with the Isolite, it's 
pretty amazing. Now there are alternative products that are similar to the Isolite like Mr. Thirsty which gives you evacuation capabilities but doesn't give you that illumination capability. Another powerful tool is going to be the PureVac HVE system. This system attaches to the HiVac evacuation. It has a nice contour to it so you're not suctioning up the tongue when you're working. It's really good for hygienists who want to reduce the aerosols a little bit more when they're using the ultrasonic devices and you can suction up a lot of those aerosols safely. I've noticed that it's actually really comfortable for our patients. It really doesn't bother them when you're putting it on their tongue or you're resting it on their cheek and it's an awesome tool that you guys should consider. And the final intraoral product that I want to mention is the Ivory Relief. Ivory Relief is really helpful for those hygienists out there that don't want to hold the high evacuation uh, system while they're cleaning the teeth. You can put it in their mouth and it, it's actually really comfortable. It attaches to the side of their cheek and you can leave it there and you can go about um, cleaning the teeth. And once again, you'd be surprised how much more suction you're getting when you have this device in the mouth. Of course, these are just my recommendations and there are plenty of other products out there. So do your due diligence, do your research and pick something that works for your office. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video and I'll definitely see you for the next one. Thank you.